Now to WDSU first warning weather, and if you hadn't heard, today was the day where NOAA, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, released their hurricane outlook for the season, and that's where we'll start. A very active season that's been forecast. You've heard from an expert at Colorado State University already. And 17 to 25 named storms would be right in the middle with 21 storms on our name list. If we go beyond that, have to go to a supplemental list. With 8 to 13 of them being hurricanes and 4 to 7 being major hurricanes. The reasons for this outlook is we're expected to go into a La Nina. That's cooler waters off the Pacific coast of South America. What that does is lessen the wind shear around the Caribbean. That makes it more conducive for possible development into the Caribbean and the main development zones here shown too. Also very warm water. Speaking of that main development zone, working about 5 degrees Fahrenheit above typical for the time of the year. And that is very warm water. And the third part of it is we're looking for an African monsoon that might be putting more tropical waves into that area. So all those things working together to give us an above average season. You can find our official outlook that will be coming up in just about a week and a half from now with our hurricane special. Get ready now. Earlier today, the National Hurricane Center wanted to say, well, let's get in the action and put a zone of possible concern, but they just took it away with the 7 o'clock update here tonight. There was some spin that was around Cuba, showed that there was the potential that could go to Bermuda, but now there is no chance of any development anywhere in our Atlantic Basin over the next seven days. That's good news. Real-time temperatures 81. We topped out just about 90 here today. But with those dew points back up to mid 70s, it is still feeling really steamy here tonight at 86 degrees. Let's show you how we've extended the weather impact days beyond Memorial Day weekend to Tuesday because this front doesn't really start to put in storms till Tuesday night. A little cooler and drier air doesn't come until after. So we got several days of weather impact days again because of the heat index ranging over 100. Here's a look at the next front. We had a batch of storms. That's that little shower activity that I'll get to and get in a little focused area near Macomb. Hot and humid conditions still keeping all of these storms north. It won't be until after the holiday. The next front starts to ease in. That'll bring the chance of storms and maybe a little cooler and drier air. There's those showers I'm just speaking of. And the latest high res forecast does show there is a very, very small chance. We could break out an isolated shower too, but it's a very small chance. I've seen maybe Hammond, Franklinton, Bogalusa with about a 10% chance of a sprinkle early. We're all in the 70s to get going into the weekend. Cloudcast tomorrow, plenty of sun around 91, but factor in the humidity, we're going to feel closer to 100. Again, this is just the temperature forecast for us. Greek festival with the evening start. Well, it's going to be pretty nice. This might be the best part of it with the most comfy temperatures. Then we see more clouds, but just a ton more sun into Saturday. Temperature still working really warm. A slim chance of a shower, but 92. It's going to feel more like 100. And again, Greek festival here. You're going to want to find the shade. Maybe a cold beverage is 92 and in that sun is awfully hot. Same's going to go for Sunday. Slim chance of a shower. 92 could feel more like 102, 103, maybe 104 in the North Shore. And again, the Greek festival at the same time here with the events this weekend. It's fine in that shade in some ways to keep comfy. Memorial Day, still hot and humid. The front doesn't start to ease in until that night. More Tuesday, 93 could feel like 103. The slim chance of a storm as that front does approach. If you're thinking about heading to the beaches, you got to watch out for a rip current risk Sunday. Day, Memorial Day itself. We may find some storms as we get into Tuesday's forecast for you, and that could lead in some slightly cooler, drier air by Wednesday. So watch out for the heat with a heat index over 100 through the Memorial Day weekend. Isolated storm chance then, but more Tuesday's the storm chance.